we're going to be looking at radioactive decay. Radioactive decay of a nucleus is a spontaneous process. That means it cannot be induced. So changing external conditions, for example, temperature or pressure, will not cause or prevent radioactive decay. The radioactive decay of a nucleus is also a random process. That means we do not know when a radioactive nucleus will decay. We only know the probability. So we know the fraction of radioactive nuclei that will decay in a given time. And this randomness is just like rolling dice. So if we were to roll six dice, we would not know which of the dice would give a six, but we know there's a one in six probability that the dice would give a six. So we would expect one of them to give a six. So if we had six radioactive nuclei, we would not know when each of the nuclei will, will decay, but we would know the probability of each nuclei decaying in a given time. Activity is the number of radioactive nuclei that decay per unit time. Its units is the Becquerel, and it's given the symbol capital B, little q. And one Becquerel is equal to one radioactive decay per second. And this is the equation for activity, where dn is the number of radioactive decays, divided by dt which represents her R per unit time. And the reason why we have a negative sign is because as time increases, the number of undecayed radioactive nuclei present decreases. So that means then that the number of decays that occur per second will decrease, and hence activity will decrease. So as time increases, dn and a activity both decrease. Activity is also found by lambda n, where lambda is known as the decay constant, which has units of per second, and it represents the probability of the nucleus decaying per unit time. And n is the number of undecayed radioactive nuclei that are present. The decay constant represents the fraction of the radioactive nuclei that will decay per unit time. If, for example, the decay constant equaled 0.25 per second, then that means a quarter of the nuclei will decay per second. So if we had 400 undecayed nuclei present, then in the first second, 100 nuclei will decay. And so as we've had 100 nuclei decaying per second, then we can say that the activity is 100 becquerels.